Sam Newman, Sam Newman has caught controversy yet again for defending Eddie Maguire, who joked about drowning Caroline Wilson. I work as an ambassador for Our Watch, White Ribbon and the Safe Steps Family Violence Response Centre. Male violence is a leading cause of death and disability for women under 45 in Australia. My sister Nikita was stabbed to death by her partner in January last year with a meat cleaver. She was 23. How will politicians and the media play a better role in bringing about long overdue cultural shifts so tragedies like what happened to my family are not normalised? Steve Price, I'll start with you. I happen to know all of the people you mentioned there, Sam, um, Eddie and Caroline Wilson very well. And uh, Eddie apologised immediately. Um, if you listen to that broadcast in context, um, it was a bunch of blokes laughing about things that they shouldn't have laughed about. Um, and when they, it was brought to their attention that they'd said those things, all of them apologised. I think far too much was then made of it. As for Sam's comments, who happens to be a very good friend of mine on the footy show, I think he should regret those comments. I don't think he should have gone back in to defend his great friend Eddie. But I think too much was made of what was originally uh, a joke on a football show. Dan Batum. First, can I say that it's absolutely heartbreaking to hear about your sister and I'm uh, terribly sad for your family and for everybody left behind. And there are way too many Australians who have this experience as part of their family and, and social worlds and it's devastating to hear that and I'm so sorry. And it's one of the reasons why we have to take this seriously and it's one of the reasons why we have to look at the cultural attitudes around the different treatment of women and the disadvantaged treatment of women in our society. Because what you see as, you know, jokes made by a bunch of blokes, you know, from the position of being one of those blokes who's probably been in on some of those jokes, I see as a woman who is part of a social world where, you know, violence is... I hope you're not suggesting I've been on... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying I'd that you're... I'd like you just that to you retract are creating, that because I would never I'm saying say that you like have that. just described them as a bunch of blokes joking around and, That's you know, making... And making apologies. Yes, Steve. That's a fact. Yes, That's Steve. what they were doing. Yes. Well, don't, don't tar me not, with their brush. Uh, it's not... Please. It's not funny. Don't tar me with their brush. Steve, please. Steve, do you know what you're doing? Do you have un any understanding what you're doing? This man has given us an extremely upsetting story about something that's happened. Yes, I can hear and as you, well as you are can. defending yourself in a context where we have to have a conversation about cultural attitudes that treat women differently. And you cannot create paradigms where there are blokes who have this kind of behaviour and we are Just looking at woman, women who live who can get upset in the result this. of cultural attitudes that treat women differently. Men can be and this just is as upset about these things Steve, as can, uh, well, I'll Steve, give you a chance to respond in a moment. But, uh, can Thank Van, you. Van... You're proving my point very excellently about the attitudes that create this kind of problem. Okay. Thank you. So I think we need to bring up that the challenges are multifaceted. One, we have to stop creating these, these binary men are this, women are this, masculinity is this, femininity is this, men have high status, women have low status. You can speak down to these people, but these people are not allowed to speak back up. That we can make jokes and it's all jokes and, oh, yeah, they apologised and that's fine. But on the receiving end is the ludicrous proportion of women yeah. who do I endure violence. I think you're violence. just being hysterical. <laughs> it's probably my ovaries making me do it, Steve. <laughs> Okay. But we have to okay, sorry, Van, I'd, I'd like to hear from the rest of the panel because I think um, it's getting a bit too heated on this side and I think the public can make up their own minds about that. Uh, Tanya Plibersek. Uh, 